I want to start this podcast off, Q, mm -hmm. by saying, OV ho, OV ho, OV ho, OV ho. Oh, oh. On the back now of the Step this way. Step this way. <laughs> step this way. Step this way. Step this way. And man. OV ho. We, got a, we had a crazy weekend before we get into it. And I got to say, man, I'm wearing my Ice Cube shirt because nice. Ice Cube to me had one of the best disses of all time, bro, against uh, uh, NWA. No Vaseline, and I'm wearing my death hat because it is the death of Drizzy. So yeah. that's how we're gonna start this off, man. I, mm -hmm. I am I am biased though. When it came to let's let's get into the into the Drake talk real quick. I am biased because Kendrick's from LA, of course. So mm -hmm. that was my dog in the fight. And I don't know if you saw recently, but they even had Drake fans coming out apologizing, say, you know what? Even though I'm a Drake stan, Kendrick just went so hard. Uh, what do you, what are your yeah. thoughts on everything before we get into the the OV ho? OV ho. Uh, first off, yes. Um, I think actually Ice Cube. Well, maybe not now. I think I thought Ice Cube had the hardest disc tr track ever in rap history. I, I mean, he destroyed a, a, a whole group by himself. <laughs> destroyed. He kind of he kind of yeah, destroyed yeah, a, genera yeah. a generation because yeah. NWA coming out that that shit was a fucking movement. Mm -hmm. when it came out and they're yeah, like yeah. cube was like i don't want to i don't want to uh, cut you off but cube was mm -hmm. basically like you you guys want to you know uh hit me with this shit i'm the writer for all of you motherfuckers <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> i'm gonna show you what plan. yeah i'm gonna show yeah. you what the lynch mob do so yeah, yeah. He, he went at him but but yeah man well oh. you were and we had talked about this on the last podcast that you were uh, uh, in the hip hop game around that time, man. Do you remember all that shit going on, like the NWA early days or the early nineties? Yeah. I guess. Yeah, I remember early nineties. I was just still like a big fan at that time. It was still like late eighties, early nineties. You know, what I'm saying probably when they broke up, like it's around ninety, ninety one. Yeah, I was a huge fan of that, and I was a huge fan of that beef. And then and it didn't mm -hmm. really come hard. I think I think NWA released a hundred miles of running, and then uh, Ice Cube re replied with no Vaseline, and that shit mm -hmm. came on. God damn, I'm glad y'all set it off. You know what I'm saying? Used to be hard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And talking about them living in the suburbs and talking about their manager. You know yep. what I'm saying? Easy E flaming it up to that Jerry Curl is gone. Just bar <laughs> the bar, he destroyed everybody. MC ran. It was a rap. It, yeah. it, it was a rap for them and shit. It, it, and I don't think MWA ever recovered from that. It's, I don't think so, bro. Ooh. No, no. I don't no. think I, so, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, yeah. It wasn't too um uh Easy E got bone, you know what I'm saying? Until he kind of came back, but he did Ice Cube destroyed him. It was a rap after that. Mm -hmm. Too little, too late, but yeah, mm -hmm. no, that's that's crazy. But going back to this weekend, man, uh, mm -hmm. this this was a this was man. So I was watching everybody's reactions. I don't know if you saw that they were even talking to reactors. They were interviewing reactors that were reacting mm -hmm. to the whole beef, and they were like, "Yo, we've never got so many views off of our." Hey, thank you, Drake and Kendrick. And dead beat that should never say more life meet the ground. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta, I gotta give them both props. Their record labels allowed people to make money off their disses without copyright claiming them. Whoa, That's whoa, a whoa, whoa. big one. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got copyright claim for one bar from Drake shit and one bar from Kendrick. Just one little bar. Not Kendrick. Kendrick didn't do it. Kendrick left, uh, took the copyright off of everybody and let the reactors eat. But okay. no, that that Drake. What's the one that came off that the Family Matters? Family Matters. I took one bar. Oh. One bar. I got copyright okay. claim and I got copyright claim for J. Cole. No Kendrick, though. No Kendrick. So, like, I don't know if it's different now, but Kendrick, too, I seen him. He took all the ship uh, off okay. of uh, all his copyrights so the uh, reactors can eat. And they ate some of the big ones, like, got like six figures and shit, bro. Bro. Damn. I, I, I won't lie. I'm, I'm a huge fan of reactors, especially when it comes to hip hop music, because I just want to see. Did, did did it connect? Did the bars connect mm -hmm. with them like it did with me? And and it absolutely mm -hmm. did. The ones that are fans of hip hop, like uh, music, like either from that still follow it or just like old school heads, mm -hmm. everybody was connecting these bars with the "Not Like Us" track, and that was the nail in the coffin for me because you you can say, I mean, I don't know how you rank them. But we should should we should have thought about a ranking, but shit, let's do it now. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I, I will say so. 
are we going to go back until when it started? Because when it started was first person shooter, right? First person shooter. Yeah. That was, that was kind of it. So what yeah. do you rank that? Because honestly, I played the shit out of that song. That was a good song. Yeah. I liked it. That was a good song. Yeah. Let's not even yeah. get it twisted. All these people were involved. It, the, the, the beef was so good because everybody was so talented. You know what I'm saying? Like they're yeah. all at the top of the game. They're all good. Like Drake is still good, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I love it. And J. Cole was flowing on that first person shooter. You know what I'm saying? They didn't really even really hitting that Kendrick really, but you know, like J. Cole, like I feel like I'm Muhammad Ali. Huh, huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, like who's the best? Uh Arby uh dot me, you know what I'm saying? But at this mm -hmm. point, I feel like I'm Muhammad. So they kind of throwing shots because Kendrick was supposed to be on that song. And he turned it down, and then they oh, was came he? back out with that. Yeah, yeah, yep. They, oh, they is that why he talked that about the feature about how he basically rejected the feature? Oh, I didn't yeah. know it was for that track specifically. Mm -hmm. Okay, he, he, okay. Yeah, he denying it. That's what he said. No, we got some shit to address. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Interesting. So, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah. so that's that where perfect. the whole that's where the whole uh, uh, you know uh, fuck the big started. three. It's just big me. That's the yeah, reason that's is because it, uh, we came with the Metro Boom and that Kendrick verse. He went directly at the heads yes. on that one. He went the yeah. I was like, damn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that song, I'll, I'll be honest, it took a little while for me for it to grow on me because I don't really care for future. Like I like some mm -hmm. of his older shit. I, I think they, they these guys have just saturated the market so much. I like Metro Boomin because Metro Boomin mm -hmm. will do whole albums with people. He'll do like fire ass production. Like I like his album with the 21 Savage and shit. Um mm -hmm. oh well, yeah, he, he makes some fire beats, bro. Metro so I like that uh, BBL Drizzy. We'll get into that. BBL Drizzy. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Got the big best BBL in the history. All right. We're so that one. So what did you think about? Uh, that one's called Like That, right? I think yeah, it's called Like, like That. that. Kendrick yeah. What do you think about hard, that one? Bro. Yeah. Kendrick came hard. Though he the best part of the song. The rest, I want to turn it off. You know? <laughs> yeah. That's not, what I'm telling you. That's the part that I fast forward to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like when Kendrick came, I was like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Y'all didn't poke the bear. You know what I'm right. saying? Let's see where this goes. But he had so far, he got one of the um, yeah, that was one of the hardest verses of this year. You know, when it started off, I was like, uh oh, y'all know y'all y'all inspired Kendrick. I don't know if you want to do that. So then after that, it was yeah. um what? After that, what was um, that? Drake song. Oh, it was push-ups. It was push-ups. Oh, push-up, push-ups. So, yeah, push -ups. Yeah. so push-ups, before we get into it, push-ups was initially everybody thought it was initially an AI song. Everybody, mm -hmm. everybody online was like, this is yeah, not real. <laughs> this is not yeah, fucking okay. real. I was like, and I guess in, uh, uh, beforehand, like we're talking about like months ago when all the AI shit music was popping off, mm -hmm. Drake's camp was taking down AI records, especially those that were uploading it to, um, you know, uh, Spotify or, or Apple Music, whatever, because they were making money off it, right? Mm -hmm. So this one wasn't going down. So people were like, yeah. wait a minute. So maybe this is a real deal, you know what I mean? Like a, a yeah. real deal song. And I thought the once... bars were too good. You know what I'm saying? I thought the bars were a little bit too clever to be an AI. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if a computer can just write, you know what I'm saying, that good. Because some of them sound like real songs, no doubt. But like, right. that sounded like Drake, for real. That sounded like, or his ghostwriter, whatever you want to say. I was going to say, or is it just a good-ass ghostwriter, the 1v20? Mm -hmm. I mean, we're talking about, you know, he had the arsenal of ghostwriters. And we've we've known this. His his mm -hmm. ghostwriters have come out and, and said that guy mm -hmm. Daylight came out. I don't know yeah, if you know I about that. that. Yeah. So yeah. Like, like these guys come out and it's not on any hatred shit. It's just that some of these guys look the part, you know, they walk the part and, but they just can't write their reps. Mm -hmm. So that's yep. just kind of what it is. And and I'm not knocking that at all because some of my favorite uh, rappers or uh, even like uh, pop singers or whoever the, like I listen to, they have yeah. ghostwriters. It's just, it's a help. Yeah, it's extra Houston, help. Whitney Houston, um, all her songs are ghost written, you know, but she can sing the shit out of them, right? Right, right. <laughs> she can sing the shit out of it. It don't matter. But like when it comes down to a battle, that's where I'd be like, uh, you know what? You know what I'm saying? There you it can't is. can't write your own battle raps and shit. You, you kind of lose by default. You know what I'm saying? No matter there it is. How you nailed it, it. To me. Yeah, yeah. To me. Personally. No, no. To me, too. I think the majority of us, too. Uh, you nailed it on that one because people were posting the credits because I believe on um, push-ups... He had a couple of writers on there. And then when Kendrick responded, which was the next one was Euphoria, that was all Kendrick. And I got to say, when I pressed play on that, I was like, bro, K-Dot, please don't come out weak out the gate on this one like this. Mm -hmm. And then like, what, 40 seconds in? You know, mm -hmm. don't tell no lies about yeah. me. Yeah. Don't tell no don't truth tell about no you. Mm -hmm. Hoo, 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 hoo. 
<laughs> oh, dude, oh. he came at his head. That beat was so... That kind of almost sounded like a Drake beat, too. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. And he just went... He just went in on that dude, bro. I still don't think Drake recovered from the sexy red bar, bro. That bar was so fucked up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when I see you in a picture with sexy red... I believe you looking at two bad bitches. I believe yep. you live your life with women. You probably want to pop ass with them. <laughs> he was that murdering. Shit was hard as hell. And then on that same uh, verse, he said, "Headshot of the year. You better walk around like Daft Punk." I was like, "Ugh." Yeah. Ugh. That, t- that dude. That mad. took me by surprise because I was like, "What does he mean by that?" And then I went, I repeated it to myself. I'm like, "Oh, they got the helmets." <laughs> They got the helmet, son. You yeah. better walk around like Daft Punk. That shit was, that was like bar, bro. That was a yeah. like bar and a half. That we forgot to bar. mention yeah, too. A- after pushups, he dropped Taylor Made Freestyle. That's the one that got taken down with the Tupac AI. I, I hate that one, bro. Fuck that track. <laughs> that track is booty. You looked yeah. if, if you looked that up, that beat sounds like a fake ass Dre beat. Like he, he probably had an yeah. AI producer yeah. on that too. Yeah, yeah, I, I hate that song, bro. I hate it because it's so disrespectful for, to Tupac yep. and to um, Snoop. You know what I'm saying? And Drake is whack on that, uh, and the whole track is whack. But I think it's just so. St- and then Snoop is alive. Why the fuck would you put an AI Snoop and you were one of the biggest rappers in the world? You put an AI verse I like that. That shit was that shit was booty whack, bro. It didn't even sound yep. like Tupac. I mean, it sounded like his voice, but it sounded like he rapping in a Drake cadence and shit. It's like this is. Well, this I think he horrible. did. Yeah, I think he did that AI conversion, like where you wrap it and then they'll change it for you, whatever. Yeah, yep. Um, mm-hmm. So it took a full yeah. like 10 or 11 days for Euphoria to come out. And then when it finally dropped, it was like number one charting like everywhere. It, it did crazy numbers, right? But then people were like, is this, is this too little too late? Like it took you like 10, 11 days. And they're like, nah, motherfucker. Like, you didn't know what Drake, <laughs> well, well, I'm sorry, what Kendrick was cooking up. Yeah, woo-wee. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, better walk around yeah. like Daft Punk. That Daft Punk. It's a, it's a lot of bars on that one. I I I uh I yeah. I, I can't even you know you know like some you said you stomach you can't stomach this and then tell them where you got your abs from. It's just so many bars in that fucking song that he just mm-hmm. went out at like can I bleed them yet? Like so 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 much, bro. And Kendrick fucking destroyed that man with euphoria. That was it. I thought that was it. Yeah, and that ab line was just piggybacking off what Rick Ross said, which kind of solidified. Mm-hmm that this rumor could be true. Because I don't know if you followed the Rick Ross uh, um, diss, which I only heard it one mm-hmm. time, but I yeah. think overall Rick Ross is okay. But he, he his, mm-hmm. his tracks are very similar, especially like even the beats mm-hmm. and stuff like that can get very, you know, uh, just uh, monotonous. Yeah. Like it just sounds repetitive. But he mm-hmm. did say at the end of that song, that diss song, how do you have 25% body fat and you have a six pack? <laughs> I'll fucking <laughs> die, dog. I was like, yo, and this uh... is the, this is a fat man telling you this. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That, 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 that started to get at him, bro. That started to get at him. And then do we he, ever he came back? Do we ever figure out why Rick Ross inserted himself in this beef? I don't know why. I'm not sure 100, percent but I think um, because Drake mentioned him on push-ups. Remember, he 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 not just going at he went at a, a lot of people on push-ups. He went at Kendrick. He went at Rick Ross. Well, when did Rick um, Ross drop? Um, um, after push-ups, he was right after push-ups. Oh, really? Okay, okay. Yeah, right. That and then like J Cole is in, in right after there somewhere too. I don't know if J Cole's before push-ups. Oh, after. that's right. He dropped the seven-minute drill, which yeah, I only heard a little bit of that. Was that how? Was that crazy? It was all right. It seemed like he was still wanting to be friends, kind of with Kendrick, didn't actually dissing him. He didn't. He didn't go as lethal as fucking uh, Kendrick did on. Um, euphoria no you know that's why he, he kind of bowed, bowed out because i think he knew kendrick lamar was fucking crazy <laughs> yeah you know a lot of people <laughs> online this weekend were saying that kendrick wasn't even a worthy opponent for drake bro it's the opposite it's the opposite hmm. drake is not mm-hmm. a worthy opponent to kendrick, kendrick and you know lamar. what the the only one that would have been would have been j cole to me yeah Yep, yep. Uh, you're absolutely right. Dude, that, that, you know what I mean? Who, you know, who write his own stuff and that can lyrically compete with um, Kendrick would be J. Cole. That would have been be insanity if they would have mm-hmm. took it there. It would have been lyrical warfare. So mm-hmm. uh, just a couple days after that, after um, Euphoria, because Euphoria was April 30th, then May 3rd. 
is is the kickoff for for the craziest weekend I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, in hip hop history. <laughs> in hip hop history, for sure. Like, Music. I, yeah. I, I'm I'm confident in saying in hip hop history because you know you got one disc record, you got another disc record. This motherfucker ends up dropping like three or four in a weekend. So. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar, 616 in LA, which is pretty much a playoff of what Drake does, the whole 2 a.m. in Toronto and all this other shit, right? Uh, what'd you think about that song? Because that that one was, I, I liked it. Yeah, I, I like that one too. And then I guess 616 is Tupac's birthday, uh, Canadian yeah. uh, Father's Day and all that stuff. Uh, but that one was cool though. That one was Had cool. a lot of messages like, to it, yeah. He dropped another one and shit? Yeah, because yeah, Drake haven't responded yet to Euphoria. He couldn't, it was... <laughs> <laughs> didn't give him enough time, I guess. Yeah, he didn't get enough time. So he thought, okay, Drake with his ego thought he was going to come with Family Matters, right? But what so do you Drake, think of 616, if you want? Yeah, I didn't oh, 616 was really good. I, li I like the... So this is the thing. I'll be honest. When it comes to diss tracks, I'm not really used to hearing like that Kanye Alchemist producer style, like where it's very hip hop. It's very hip hop for the hip hop heads. But I want to hear like that euphoria, the dun 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 dun. dun. Mm -hmm. Like I want to, I want to get fucking. Amped. I want to, and I, I don't want this to sound wrong, because Drake's house just recently got shot up. So mm -hmm. I don't want this to sound wrong. But when I hear the music, I as a fan want to ride for this motherfucker. Like, you <laughs> right. know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. want to feel you, you like I can ride behind this guy, like. This is my dog in the fight once again. Yeah. So yeah. when it kind of yeah. goes the the more chill route, I mean, what he was saying was he was connecting the bars, but the beat itself mm -hmm. uh, was just a little more chilled down than what I was expecting from the follow-up of Euphoria. Mm -hmm. So it's not the direction that I would have went. I would have went directly into the uh, Not Like Us track, to be honest, and that would have mm -hmm. just ended the weekend. So mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Uh, six sixteen in L.A. was a really good. Uh, that's the one where he's talking about. Oh, I'm trying to remember the bars on that one. Oh, genius! By the way, the website genius shut down. Mm -hmm. That's like the top lyrics mm -hmm. website because it, it breaks. It, it shut. Well, when I think when Euphoria came out, people went on that website to break down these lyrics, and it shut down because it was too much Damn. traffic. Wow, yeah, that's that's huge, bro. Yeah, Kendrick so Lamar, me... Lamar don't really like this man. He didn't. He he didn't really did not like him for real. <laughs> this is this is more than a friendly competition. He really did not like him. You know, absolutely. So tell. <laughs> oh oh yeah, especially towards the like the last like three tracks, he was just going for blood. Uh, so yeah, this I'll is blood. the. This is the track where it says, have you ever thought that OBO is working for me? And that's when oh, people yeah. were like, yo, he has a mole. Because mm -hmm. remember the album artwork for mm -hmm. this for one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just a glove, right? But it was like, I guess, yeah. his Maybach, Maybach glove. And then the next one oh. after that, Meet the Grams, was the full, like, it oh. had the pills and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, the pills. Yeah, that's right. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Yep, yep. So that's mm -hmm. what that one was about. Um, I like mm -hmm. this track a lot. And um, I'll have to let that one marinate because there was so much happening, bro, that I was mm -hmm. just trying to, I was trying to just catch up. I was trying to catch yeah, up and, and, yeah, yeah, it was, it was wild. But um, so after that, I think I was trying to react or trying to talk about the beef. With, I remember you were putting Graham. out videos, and I'm like, "Yo, you you you're a couple tracks behind already, bro." <laughs> yeah, I was tracks. like, "Yeah, I was editing. <laughs> I was editing, and like three more tracks came. I'm like, what the? <laughs> it was crazy. It was cra I was like this is I can't even I can't even edit. I can't open fucking Premiere. It's another diss song. Two more diss song. Then it was three. <laughs> it was like, this is insane, bro." It was insane. getting nuts. So also May 3rd, later that day, I think it was like right after too. It was pretty soon. Uh, Drake puts out Family Matters, which I got to say, probably his best one. That for yeah. me, besides push-ups, that was probably the best one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, I got that one a second. Yep, yeah, I, I got push-ups over this one, but it was it's still a formal good diss. Very good diss. Very, very good very diss. Good, yeah, and, and, and he's crushing Don't remember the, the lyrics. Um, yeah, yeah, me, I can't uh, recite the lyrics, but I know he's crushing the band from uh, Good Kid, Mad City in that video. So, like, you know, like Christian Kendrick Lamar, he had visuals. So, you pretty, pretty good. Too. He already had that one waiting because you hear that beat at the end of Push Up. I was really, really trying to keep it PG. You know what I'm saying? So, we already had this ready for Kendrick, you know? But yeah. He, little did he know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kendrick had some shit for him. You know what I'm saying? Was, right. I do, I do like, I, I like Family Matters, but yeah, I like Push Ups. A little bit more. He went hard. He went hard on that one. So this one says, May 4th, 
Meet the Grams by Kendrick. Kendrick's next retort came mere minutes after Drake's Family Matters. And there's a <laughs> funny ass clip of academics uh, reacting to this shit. He's listening yeah. to Family Matters. And then halfway yeah. through, someone in the chat's like, what the, f are you serious? And he goes to <laughs> Kendrick's YouTube and this uh, motherfucker dropped Meet the Grams. And he's like, God <laughs> damn it, Kendrick. If you ain't oh my God, it's going down. I don't know how to feel. I'm about to have a heart attack on stream. No fucking way. What Kendrick say? Kendrick dropped immediately. No fucking way. No way. Dear Adonis, I'm sorry that that man is your father. Let me be honest. It takes a man to be a man. Your dad is not responsive. It's always go beat us home. Sometimes our parents make mistakes that affect us until we grown. Please remember, you. Man, what the fuck is going on right now? <laughs> what are you doing to me, Kendrick? You're killing me. Yes, it was yes, like that yes, R. Yes. Kelly. Like the R. Kelly. You yeah. killed me out here in this shit. <laughs> I'm trying to live my life. Yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It was just like that. You're killing me with this shit. Yeah, yeah that's how we so, all felt. So he dropped that like really late night, I believe, because it says like near midnight. It says, uh, yeah. oh, sh shortly after the clock struck midnight on the East Coast, um, he dropped it. And then that same fucking day, man, May 4th, not like us. Mm, yeah. And that was. Yeah. The bee walking yeah. on the grave, I think, because... Yeah, yeah. His crib walking on his carcass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> At that point. Fa that was a celebration. Because Meet the Grams went so personal with it. He talked about oh, Adonis. He talked about this 11-year-old girl and shit like this. Oh. And, and he talked about so much his personal. Yeah, yeah. That, one, that, one, that was her. Them peeing on his leg. Because like, apparently that really happened. You know what I'm saying? They really pissed on Drake's leg. He didn't really do Which shit. Which is so like that. a weird fucking thing that was actually <laughs> confirmed. If you look it up, that actually, he talked about mm -hmm. that. I'm like, mm -hmm. why would you even say anything about that, bro? <laughs> it was it over. I, I, th I thought that was the last diss track, Meet the Grams. I'm like, that, that's it. That, that is it. That's getting, that hurts. Yeah. That, that's going to make you, like I'm saying, Drake going to cry in a car. I know he was crying. He was hurt after that one. He, yeah. he had to be hurt personally on that one. You know what I'm saying? And then everybody yeah. was talking about, Everybody was talking about how Kendrick could not, uh, at least the fans, the Drake fans were like, yo, Kendrick's just on this whoop de whoop, uh, you know, uh, po uh, not positive, but like this more conscious, like metaphors and all. And, you know, Gen Z, that shit goes way over their head. Mm -hmm. And he's yeah. like, I'm going to yeah. give you guys something you could fucking, this is going to be the summer anthem. Everybody's going to mm -hmm. be playing this. He drops it May 4th, which is on a Saturday morning, or I believe it was Saturday mm -hmm. morning. Mm -hmm. Clubs were playing that shit for Cinco de Mayo weekend, Saturday night and Sunday, Damn. bro. It was insane. It's you look at the video insane. clips for that. Clubs mm -hmm. are going crazy. They were. I saw New York clubs playing it. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't Drake? I, I think, think Drake is mo probably more love in New York than than yep. Kendrick. Yeah, yeah. Not and, this weekend. And, and I seen like like some old people. Like there was like some old people at a hall. Like some old white people, and they were they, they were playing that song. And they was like, they did. I was like, this motherfucker didn't change the game forever. And that beat by DJ Mustard was hard, bro. It was hard. And hard. It was straight L.A. You know. What I'm saying? You know what? That's what the Gen Zers like. Oh yeah, Drake. I, I, I can like a nice um beat. I can bob my head to and shit though, but. He gave you that, and he lyrically destroyed you the whole entire time. I think this battle really comes down to skill base. And Kim, yeah. I didn't like. Damn, I knew he. I knew he was better than Drake the whole time by you know MCing. But like, I didn't know you. I didn't know you had that in you like that, bro. That was fucking insane, bro. Some of the How best did, shit out of all time. Yeah, I'm sorry. How yeah. did all the stars align? Going back to what you said, he had fire production by DJ Mustard, and I got to say, I've. There's a playlist of like all DJ Mustard beats. That's not even the most fire DJ Mustard beat I ever heard. I've heard okay. Wayfire. That sounded like almost not like a throwaway, but that sounded like one he had in the back pocket maybe for something like yeah. this, where he yeah. was like, Mustard, I need something like that you had, you know, maybe you saved around for like a year mm -hmm. or so, but I need, I need this shit to hit. And mm -hmm. it just became a very catchy thing that you couldn't help but listen to, even if you were a Drake fan. And if mm -hmm. you're a Drake fan and you're bumping this, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, bro, because 
he's just tearing Drake apart on this record <laughs> that, that you can't help but dance to. Stop playing. You better keep your hands in your fucking pocket, nigga. <laughs> you better move your little knee around usual. and your diamond studded ups, as nigga. Usual. It was a sad Saturday night for niggas like you, nigga. Fuck is you talk about us. Now, nigga, that didn't bring it from the top. Now, nigga, <laughs> bring it from the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The muscle like, here you go, cuz. Yeah, that's perfect. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Broke him up like a pack, fresh pack of Zods. He was going on his head, bro. Like, damn, this is literally the celebration of him, like I said, dancing on his on his corpse at this point. Like, it's it's over, bro. And we can't <laughs> oh. This one has probably the most quotable um mm -hmm. lines in this fucking beef because we have the whole you know, certified ped, uh, certified lover boy, certified pedophiles. That was the big line right there. Also, um, I think I struck a chord, and I think it's a minor. Oh, a minor. Oh, thanks for bringing up that bar, bro. That's bro. that's that's probably the hardest bar of the year for sure. That's, that's the hardest one, bar of the year in hip hop period. If you look up all the reactors that have not heard this song that are like really listening to it for the first time, that's the part that made them jaw drop, get up out of their chair, and just like, mm -hmm. bro, where are we going with this beef? <laughs> we just yeah. took it to a whole nother realm yeah. with these disses, dude. That I loved it. So amazing. Yeah. I loved it. That's just talent. Um, That's just talent, too. Not I mean, if it's true, and I don't, I don't know, but like even, you know, even to use that bar is just incredible. You know what I'm saying? It's good. And, yeah. and let's not forget the artwork on this one was the actual Google map view of Drake's home or mansion. <sighs> Yeah. with a bunch of markers over it and people are like what are those markers when people looked it up they're convicted sex offender markers and there was about like 12 or 13 that all live in that house apparently based on the cover you know uh, of, yeah, of what yeah. that is and then the track goes a little deeper where he mentions some of his boys he talks about this guy baka who came home after doing uh, like 11 months or something like that in prison for like a sex offender, like some kind of a sexual assault, sex trafficking type of deal. So mm. none of that shit looks good, bro. You're surrounding yourself with people that are ex sex offenders or ex, uh, uh, they're dealing with sexual assault cases and mm -hmm. you're praising them on Instagram and you're talking to minors. Like it, you're literally talking to minors, literally talk. I'm not saying what he's doing with these minors, but there's yeah. evidence that he talked to Millie Bobby Brown. He talked mm -hmm. to Billie Eilish. He talked mm -hmm. to that 16 year old girl that he has pictures with that girl that was on stage where they got mm -hmm. her, where he's like, why are you looking like this? You're so thick at 17. There's yeah. too many, too many it's examples. It's weird. Mm -hmm. It doesn't it's make weird. you look like you're not a pedophile. I'll just say that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And apparently there's uh Drake's dad is following all these little young girls that's underage. I don't know if you heard about that. Yeah. Why are you yeah. following a random girl that you saw your your son basically uh grope on stage? I don't that doesn't make sense to me. It's weird, bro. Some freaky, freaky ass shit. Keep their ass outside. Yeah. <laughs> Inside. Yeah, this is, yeah, so this is weird, bro. So I don't hey, know where it's going. He's a 69 but, uh, god, bro, and we got the world yeah. screaming OV ho. Oh, be out. but yeah, you never know. Like stuff like that happens, and then all of a sudden the feds come to your door. Uh, what's his name? Hannibal Burris said some something about Bill Cosby, and that whole thing just just came, just blew up. You know, sir. How did the R. Kelly thing happen? Oh yeah, they made that series. I think Surviving R. Kelly. Next thing you know, mm -hmm. bam, feds at the door. So yeah. yeah. And let's not forget oh. about P. Diddy, man. Who I oh, still yeah. don't know what the fuck's gonna happen to him, but feds came to his door. Yeah, for sure. Grab all type of tapes, everything. Some weird, it's some weird freaky shit that's coming to the A lot the of light, weird so. motherfuckers. A lot of weird yeah. motherfuckers, man. It's like this. Mm -hmm. I know he's going to come up with some damn excuse to be like, why he texted. He, he has to. And the funny thing, everybody was like, out of all of this. Oh, I, I, I almost talked about like, I'm talking about this like it's over. He dropped the next day. Drake dropped a track May 5th called The Heart Part 6, mm -hmm. which if you guys know Kendrick's music, he has a series like The Heart Part you know, mm -hmm. this or that uh, last one was five. So he put out one called the heart part six. Um, mm -hmm. 
which to me had some bars, but mm-hmm. it didn't. It missed some mark. It didn't. It didn't address really anything except for this eleven year old daughter thing. He claims mm-hmm. that him the and mall. his team fed Drake, uh, fed Kendrick and his team lies yeah. because he knew he would. So wh- yeah. let me let me ask a question, bro. Why would you purposely want to label yourself a pedophile, even if you're op or whoever was going to yeah. take the bait? Yeah. Why? Yeah, how does that help you? It doesn't help, <laughs> especially if you have videos, <laughs> videos with minors. Yeah. Shouldn't you feed Why him some would... other information if this was the yeah. case? <laughs> yeah, that was so stupid. And this didn't make any sense to me. Like, why would you feed him information? Like, what is that going to do? Like, well, this is a rap battle. Who raps better than the other person? Why is yeah. this a Scooby Doo mystery of this mole, even if it's true or not true? Like that makes you look even worse. Plus, you got ghostwriters, and everybody know it. Now you got yeah. this weird fucking subplot, like that you like you were gonna win miraculously with this, and yeah. and then everybody was scratching their head, like, huh? Oh, I see that last Drake diss song of him trying to save his face, and and yeah. saying, him him trying to save face, him all nonchalant at the end. Oh yeah, I'm happy for your little streaming numbers. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm glad I oh. can expire you. That's him waving that wake flag like this. Yeah, white yeah. He, I, I think he even says, like, I don't want to do this anymore or something. Or I don't want to have to do this anymore or something like that. It, you basically, mm-hmm. you've given up, bro. You, <laughs> it, it, what what kind of diss, like, what kind of dissing is this? I don't, I don't get, I've never seen it. It, it, it seems like the, it seems like you're not built for this shit because guess what? You're not. You're an entertainer. You're not in the same realm that Kendrick's in, bro. Ken- Kendrick, he's no. done those ciphers and shit like that. Ha- have you seen Drake even do like, bro? Anytime he does a freestyle, he's reading off a fucking phone. So, oh shit, man! You know what I mean? Like he's not the same person. He's not the same. I wouldn't even say same MC because I don't. I don't think he's an MC to be. He's a no, he's no, a no, no. He's entertainer. A, he's a, yeah, he's an entertainer and shit. It's like yeah. MC Hammer. You know, what I'm saying going up against most death or something. It's, it's not- <laughs> I mean, they both do rap music, but you know what I'm saying? You're yeah. not going to out-rap that guy. And, and you obviously seen this. He was way more talented uh, talented than you. And, and the whole world oh, yeah. seen it. That's what made it even oh, worse. And he took that shit off with the streamers. So he looked more like a hero. He like, Kendrick Lamar looked like Caesar from the Planet of the Apes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He fucking, he, yeah, he did it. He did the damn thing. So yeah. Uh, yeah, it was I, bad. It I was enjoyed great. it, man. It, it, it yeah, was a great yeah, it was a great weekend. Um, mm-hmm. I personally hope that Kendrick does not reply again because at yeah. that point, it's just you're beating a dead horse. The fans know yeah. that you've won. And I think at this point, we know in the last couple of days that uh, Universal Music Group uh, and like all these other record labels that are all involved with Kendrick and Drake, they're calling like <laughs> they're calling for like a ceasefire basically <laughs> after these events happen yeah. with the security guard with Drake and shit. Uh, they yeah. did get shot. Yeah. Um, and yeah. this is one thing. Uh, everyone online and academics is like, yo, this shit got real. People are getting shot. Look, it beef has been happening since the beginning of time. You cannot blame someone's fan base for this. He mm-hmm. K- Kendrick is not con- he, he can't control people. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. What, what if what if a Swift a Swifty goes out and kills uh someone that doesn't that talks bad about Taylor Swift? Are you gonna blame Taylor Swift? The, the armies yeah. are too big, bro. You can't control these right. people. You know what I mean? So it's mm-hmm. like yeah. Uh, I think that's a that's a stupid argument, but um, yeah, I think I think it's it should end because there's nothing else I more am. to say. No, yes, and yes, yeah, I know the labels have said they want it to stop because the whole pedophilia aspect of it is is killing Drake's sponsorships and brands and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And, and now I think Kendrick's hurt him where it hurts the most for Drake is his pockets. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah, who the fuck's yeah, gonna yeah. wanna, even if it's alleged or not, mm-hmm. people are gonna start digging. They're gonna start jumping on YouTube and they're gonna be like, oh shit, he does oh. have all these clips and shit. What the fuck is mm-hmm. this about? People yep, that didn't yep. know, people that didn't know, now they know. So. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's another genius thing. Um uh with the T that Kendrick has, they changed the perception of Drake. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. The like people look at his fans look at him differently. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if he, mm-hmm. I like the album with Drake and Twenty One Savage. I got a, a lot of songs on that on my playlist. I, you know, I dance to it, but I know that you know I know the difference. You know, with yeah. some of that shit like between real rap and you know what I'm saying stuff that rap. But I gotta get like Drake. He did back to back. He destroyed Meek Mill. I got that in the maybe yeah. one of the top ten and, rap be- uh, battles of all time. And I yeah. like Meek Mill. This is this is a weird thing. Mm-hmm. I'll uh, uh, I preferred much. 
I'm, I much rather preferred listening to Meek Mill over Drake at that moment in time. I felt like Meek was putting out some really good songs and stuff like that. I liked all the artists that he's surrounded with and stuff like that. Now it's come to light. He's kind of a, he's a weirdo and stuff like that. But I'm saying back then, yeah. like I sided more with Meek. And yeah, like you said, when Back to Back came out, everyone knew who won that. You know what I mean? Uh, enough mm -hmm. for Meek Mill to like bury the hatchet. And then they jumped on... Um, Fuck is that? Uh, uh, not money in the yeah. grave. What the, is yeah, it? Money in the grave or no? Not no, money no, in the grave. That's Rick Ross. Uh, that's Rick, Rick Ross. Yeah, it's um, the they jumped uh, on I um. I totally forgot the name of that song. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she said you rich, rich. You, yeah, you call me. Yeah, what song bitch. is that? Yeah. Uh, I I forgot <laughs> that, the name of the damn song. It's something. That song was hard. Yeah, it was hard. That's just like uh, uh Jay Z and Nas. Jay Z was more popular than Nas at that time, but it's called Ethan going bad. Out, it's called going, going bad. Going bad, yeah, going, going bad. bad. Yeah, 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 going yeah. bad. Yeah, like that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but when like uh, Nas destroyed Jay Z, he was uh, Jay Z was way bigger than him at that time. But like Nas fucked him up with Ether. <laughs> he could do nothing. I, I, I still believe. Yeah, I still believe. Um, that that Ether killed Takeover, and and there's a lot of people who said it. Man, there was someone that was big like a charlemagne or someone and they were like nah it was it was always take over over ether and i'm like oh, there's always gonna be that person that just dick yeah, rides the true. fucking artist you yeah, know that's like the mgk won against eminem like are you fucking crazy never <laughs> never in a million fucking years bro what? never in a million he fucking years. he he destroyed this man so bad he started to do rock and roll music exactly <laughs> And he got booed at the fucking at those rock and roll concerts because he was beefing with other uh, seasoned uh, bands. I'm like, bro, oh, are you man. ever gonna stop this beef and just like, do music? <laughs> what are you gonna yeah. do? <laughs> just go with Mega Good and watch Transformers. Live a happy life. Leave this music shit alone. <laughs> yeah, he he's trash, bro. Um, no, he's trash. But that's yeah. pretty much it. And, and and no one gave a shit really about the last Drake record that came out, the Hard Part no, Six. No, no that was uh, some, and, I quit. Yeah, except he was just, uh, oh, it did lead for something funny because he mentions, oh, I never, like, uh, 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 I don't fuck with, like, uh, Millie Bobby Browns. And people are like, why did you say Millie Bobby Brown? Uh, uh, Kendrick never said her name. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's very got true. Got you, motherfucker, got you. <laughs> got him, got him. <laughs> yeah, so. Oh. Oh, it, it led to good shit like that. What you got? Oh, you got we got to talk about. We got, well, you know, we got, I mean, Drake, is, he's going through it. We know we got to talk about BBL Drizzy. <laughs> BBL Drizzy. So, so in the middle of all this, um, you know, Metro Booming gets involved, obviously. Um, uh, his name on, um, yeah, Drake, Drake, uh, Drake also says, yeah, Metro, shut your bitch ass up and make some and make drums. Some drums. Yeah. I thought that was a hard bar, though. I thought that, it, <laughs> I thought it, that was it is. It's funny. But yeah. I mean. And you know what? It's kind of a homage to Ice Cube because Ice Cube yeah. said, uh, uh, Dre, stick to producing. <laughs> yeah, Dre, stick to Remember producing. Remember that shit? No yeah, Vaseline? Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, but I, I'm like, what is Metro Boobie going to do? Why is Metro, why you bring up Metro Boobie? You know what I'm saying? What is he going to do? Are he going to make some And we drugs? saw what he did. Oh, what he did? <laughs> <laughs> Metro puts out a beat. Drizzy. He puts out a beat for free on SoundCloud called BBL Drizzy, and he tells the internet, yo, I will give you 10 grand, and I'll give you a free beat if you fucking rap over this. And what did he do? He got a bunch of amateur rap, like basically anybody that, that raps, right, in their bedroom mm -hmm. to rap over this. And these records blew up on Twitter. If you Damn. check some of them out, they're pretty good. And I'm thinking okay. like, yo, he did all he could do as a producer. I, I thank God he did not pick up the mic, bro. Because I was like, please don't mm -hmm. tell me you're gonna try to rap. I'm like, don't do no, it. No, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. He yeah, did what he do it. best. He made that beat because that beat fire yeah. and it's hilarious. It sounded like it's... he got like some big heavy set woman on like from Motown singing on it. <laughs> BBL Drizzy. I'm thinking of the. I'm thinking of the, got the best BBL in history. This can't yeah. make you show up. <laughs> I still, I'm still trying to figure out how the fuck he made that. Was that AI or was that an actual record? There's no uh, way a, actual original sample says BBL Drizzy. No, 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 no. I don't know. Is it a There's real? There's no way. That chorus is nah. great, bro. Yeah, it's, it's. I was like Drake going through it. He he did what it he did what it does, and 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 I liked um how he went along with it. But just recently, it came out that he had some predatory tweets that came out and this motherfucker Metro is now deleting a bunch of shit. So I'm like, yo, I don't oh, know who to support now. Oh, <laughs> uh, Metro. Metro. <laughs> oh, but, no. 
Yeah. Academics is in the same realm, man. Like, I like a lot of his takes, but at the same time, uh, suspicious tweets of him are coming out talking about underage girls, too. And I'm like, can these guys just stop being fucking, fr like, freaks, bro? Like, just Freak, man. Yeah. talk about yeah. music. What the fuck? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm glad I don't... I, I, I the never only... The only one that I hope keeps it real and doesn't have any uh, controversy, which I don't know if he does, is Joe Budden, bro. That motherfucker, to me, is the voice of reason. He's an artist himself, so I think he's best at judging rap lyrics because he even said in the beginning, he goes, I like Kendrick, I like Drake. I'm going to tell you guys the honest, like, who is winning track for track? Yeah, dude, so... That's, I mean, I think we're both in favor of Kendrick destroying this one, and oh it was a great God. weekend. Yes. Yeah, yeah, oh my God, Kendrick by far, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, he didn't want those problems, because Drake, uh, like, at, at that one song, I got the uh, end of Push Up or the other AI song, like, oh, you know, you're just going to try to back down. No, no, don't back down. We waiting on you. And oh, <laughs> shit, he didn't, want, he didn't want that. He didn't want nah. those problems at all, because then Euphoria came out, then it was just a whole weekend on your fucking head. I have never <laughs> seen that in hip hop. He was just on never your head. It. You drop some shit like, oh, Aubrey celebrating, then bam. Minutes later, another diss track, and then the next day, the 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 end of the, the coffin raising. You know how they dance with the coffin in New Orleans like that? That was not <laughs> like a. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That was it. That was it, man. But that was a, it, it was a fantastic weekend. I think they both, probably their teams have reached out like, yo, cease fire, cease fire. Unless, I, I don't know, man. You, you never know, man. You got to open up Twitter once in a while to make sure that, that, that fucking someone's not posting, oh, another Drake record, another yeah, Kendrick record. I, I, we, yeah, we're recording. There's two, three more out. You know what I'm saying? Three, uh, three more about Kendrick. But, it could I, be. I think, I, but I don't know. I thought it was over at Meet the Grams, but um, I think it's over, though. Yeah, like you said, I think he proved his point. I think the whole world scene, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, I see him breaking, even... bro. I'm seeing breaking news Drake's Toronto home visited by an alleged trespasser who was stopped by security. He has more people yeah. stopping by. So, let me ask you this because now people, a lot of people were asking, were, were saying on, on Twitter this whole weekend, well, now that he posted his location, this is going to give fuel for the fans to, mm. bro. You, I, I think his location's already out was already out there on maps, so I don't think you can blame that. I mean, if it's yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Or is that is that going yeah. too personal? Posting someone's house, it's, I mean, it's crazy. It's a crazy thing to fucking do. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a crazy thing to do. Drop somebody's actual house. That's that's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta go. You gotta live there or move immediately. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you got might have all type of crazy. I mean, people ain't got shit to do about the Drake beef. They just wanna you know. Uh, hug Drake or be close to Drake or kill him, you know what I'm saying? For any reason, let's John Lennon shit, you know. So, also, you know. yeah, oh, yeah, for sure, John Lennon. But, like, um, they were also uh, things like I guess there's a store in Toronto, OVO store, like an actual OVO yeah. store, and uh, someone tagged on the front window, they not like us. So, mm -hmm. once again, it's gonna happen, bro, it's gonna happen, but you can't control the fans, all you can do. If anything, which I don't think Kendrick's going to do, is reach out and say, look, don't take it into your own hands. We're handling it. Thank you, but no thank you. I don't mm -hmm. think it's going to happen. I mean, I think that might be like the right PR. I think his PR people are definitely like, yo, you got to say, tell him to chill out. But mm -hmm. he's probably like, what the fuck for? It's not my, that they're, I don't, I don't, I'm not their, <laughs> I'm not their keeper. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, 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 that's true. I don't that's know. True. They don't have to stop. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it's getting want... crazy. It's getting weird. It's getting weird for Drake and fans. And, like, who knows who's doing that? I don't think Kendrick's behind any malicious attempts at, like, the bodyguard no. getting shot or and shit like that. I just think he whatever's doesn't... going down. Yeah, he doesn't need a... He doesn't need a uh, and then, and then uh, Academics also said something about... Uh, the reason why I'm so passionate about, you know, uh, being on Drake's side is because Drake's consistent. Drake puts at this and, and Kendrick comes out every four to five years with a fucking project and stuff. Like, and he wants to crown... When the fuck did Kendrick ever say he wanted the crown? He was yeah. dissed and he replied. It doesn't matter if he replied one time. It doesn't matter if he replied 50 times. And that doesn't mean he's coming for anybody's crown. He's coming for this man specifically who spoke on him. And it's mm -hmm. in his right to reply. Yep. That's, that's hip hop. It's hip hop so, 101. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. But yeah. I mean, the fact of the matter is, Drake, I'm sorry, uh, Kendrick did reply to one of the biggest artists on the planet in a lot of genres, bro. We're just ta we're not talking yeah. about rap and R&B. We're talking about he does Latin music. He does fucking reggae, uh, like dance hall shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So yeah. 
he's multi genre guy. I get it. He's a pop. He's a pop star. And if he's he wants to be star. called a rapper, like he shouldn't get offended by that. I, I mean, yeah. Actually, I would get offended by that if I were him because I'd be like, "Yo, I'm just an artist because I'm making more than just rap music, right?" Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think yeah. he wants to be a gangster so fucking bad. That's why yeah. Kendrick said in that line, the last track, uh, he mentioned all this. He goes, "Yeah, yeah." He goes. He goes, uh, you went to Atlanta when you got to, you know, get your checks up. You, you, you went to Atlanta when, um, when, uh, uh, what was he saying? I'm, I'm butchering it already, but he said 21 Savage gave you street cred. Remember that? Street cred. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like, um, he, he was, he was just basically saying that you're like a culture vulture. He called him a colonizer. Yeah. God damn. Good. Oof. That was another hard bar, bro. Oof. Yeah. And he broke it all down. Yeah. And I, I can't go out of here without saying that YMBW Melly line was so fucking tough, bro. Either we friends yeah. or I'm YMW Melly. That shit was, yeah. boy. I mean, he was on his head, head all weekend, though. Yeah. As, all, um, all weekend. Uh, yeah, I don't think, I, I, t- I said in one of my reviews, he like St. Patrick's Day, the next day, you got to recover from them bars, bro. <laughs> <laughs> For and real. Drace going through it. Drace going through it. He's a pop star. Like, you you picked the wrong rap beef to get into. Like, you picked yeah. one of the best rappers, even though he might not be as big as you in terms of, um, you know, commercial success like that. But, you know, Kendrick wins all those awards and Grammys and all that shit. But, like, you fuck with the, you fuck with an artist. And the artist didn't like you so much, he decided to, you know what I'm saying, his pen was probably lyrically on fire when it was writing. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah so. mm-hmm. for sure. Yeah. So we didn't damn near talked about this for fi- for an hour, fifty minutes. Oh, shit. I also was going to mention too that uh, Drake compared himself to Michael, Michael Jackson, mm-hmm. and I'm like, bro, mm-hmm. that is not the time to be comparing yourself to Michael Jackson when you got <laughs> underage allegations on your motherfucking head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'm damn. I use a Grammy as a door stop. I'm like, bro, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man! You fucking sucking your own dick. Stop it. Yeah, yeah. He thought his he thought this fame and you know his head got so inflated. He thought he couldn't be be you know couldn't be beeped. So it was like it was like well, a that's thing the thing. Type thing. Yeah, that's the thing, bro. Is that he thought because he had and and Kendrick even saying it said it just because you have the money the power uh, doesn't mean you have the respect. You know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't mm-hmm. that doesn't equate not I'm anything, with the bro. <laughs> I'm with the culture feeling, bro. Yeah. Whew. 